here with uh what's your name again huh? lenny lenny from the death the death nick nickies god damn it i'm drunk the death nickies so tell me uh tell me about your band uh, today we're sitting right here drinking beer pharaoh came up from decry and he said he said hey um is that a death nickies t-shirt and i was like yeah and i was like and he was like where did you get it from? And then this guy goes, well, he's the founder of the band. Oh, and shit. I was like, oh, I tried out for that band. And then it? he was like, but the little guy, which is Dave Chavez, <laughs> Dirty Dave, I asked him a question about the lyrics, and he just turned around and shined me on, and all I saw was Death Vicky's tattooed on his back with a <laughs> giant cross. And then he was like, I never asked him anything about the lyrics again, and they didn't hire me to be in the band. But the banners originally from Chino, California. They were uh, we played in Riverside. I, actually, uh, if you look on Voodoo Glow Skulls, who is this is record? We're one of the very first bands to be thanked because we are the first band that get them to play play with the Offspring, Pennywise, Sublime, No Doubt, um, Green Day before everybody was famous, and we're from this area. So but, this is pre the golden boom in the '90s, then. It's what? This is pre the uh, glorious days boom, as Fat Records calls it. Exactly. Before Epitaph, before fucking all these band labels came around. Before the merger from the major corporations all got cut out. That was, I believe, in 1990. The merger happened. And a lot of small labels sold. If you have bands like Manic Hispanic's first album is originally a band that was cut by a major record label because they merged so if you can find a very first manic hispanic record that just has the menudo bowl but not numerous menudo bowls that thing's worth a lot of money Keep and mind. that's i think of, i believe it's a byo record but the youth organization originally we're on byo we're on rick agnew smash demos and uh and we were produced by chas ramirez from casmo studios which is the same guy who did us. the Go Go's, um, Social Distortion, uh, and I, don't, I can't remember them because I've been drinking. But that's all good. The Death Mickey's. This is Lenny from the Death Mickey's. <laughs> Wait, I got the tattoo. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Come on, Apple iPhone, you can do this. <laughs> Come on, Apple, with your superior lens, show that off. Uh, you need the new one with the super yeah. enhancing lens. I think that's not made by Apple. They, co they come out with a new one like every fucking six yeah, months. Yeah, I'm just city, like, like, it's a rat race. Oh, I mean, oh. their phones are decent. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, man. I threw my Apple away. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, ah, the like Galaxy better. So are you playing here tonight? No, no, no. I'm just here. Like, I know all these. I know all these. Yeah. 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 Guys from the Rattlesons, Adolescents, Rattlesons. Casey Oyer and them? Yeah. It's going to be an epic night. When's the show start? It already started. Oh. The, the first couple bands already played. We're just getting tanked up, so we can get in there. Nobody goes to see the first two bands, bro. Who are they? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm with him, so I was like, well, hell yeah, dude. Hey, thank you for the interview, man. I appreciate it. No problem, man. I saw This is called the Vault. Christian Death, uh, Death Mickey's. The Death Mickey's. A lot of bands. Bro. A lot of bands have practiced in this building. Fucking Pillsbury Hardcore. That's that's the fucking spot where they record. They uh, practice. Good job. That's a practice. That's that's an old bank from the '60s. Yeah. And that's a bank over there too. Is it? But now that's an art museum. That's an art museum. That sign right there originally, you can see the old bank stuff on it. Yeah. See it behind the arts colony? Oh, that's yeah. The bank on there and everything still. <laughs> it's fading away. The arts colony sign's fading away. Does that building, uh, what's in it now? Do you know? Yeah, it's uh, practice it's, studios. Oh, it still is? Yeah. But oh. the bottom closed. The bottom doesn't do venues no more. Oh, damn. That's awesome. The drummer used to sit inside the vault where the bank vault where all the money was at. And they would add a stage built in front of it. Fucking awesome. And the band, the drummer played inside there, mic'd up. And the band played right there in the front. Uh, there was some good shows there, man. I made a good echo chamber. And one day it just ended. 
Well, all these places, bro. That fucking, this place right here, it's closed right now, but there's bands playing in there every night. Oh, over there? Yeah, there was a there was a yeah. little noisy, noisy That beer, purpose. pizza, and wings, that was on uh, Bar Rescue. And then it changed to beer, pizza, and wings, and now it's that. Down the street, the other side is the Antique District. Over and that way? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff right here, bro. This place was popping about 15, 20 years ago. The COVID happened and it just kind of died out. But you still have the art collector that's still here. Yeah, that's they what I was. Uh, stuff and they make these tiles, all that. While I was waiting for Antonio, I was kind of watching this stuff. I was like, damn, this. Is if you walk all the way to the corner, there's a brick, a little brick thing where the trash can goes over there in the corner. And you'll see a, a guy and there's a bunch of Aztec stuff. That's my cousin, Steve. He died last year of a brain aneurysm. Oh, my condolences. But he's, that picture is a, a picture of him. And the picture of the, the tattoos that are on him, those are the actual tattoos I tattooed on him. That's right. Because right. I am also a tattoo artist. I have the one that got a bad religion love or TSO level on me. I have it. The bad, bad religion? Right there. Ah, oh, shit, yes. Crossbuster all the way. Yeah. DRI, I got them all, dude. Yeah, how many? Doctor No, Black Flag. So just to give you an idea about where I where I'm from, essentially. So back in high school, like let's go with something as as innocent as the Descendants. That's not an offensive band name, obviously. Oh, no. I wore a Milo goes to college shirt to school once, and I got pinned up against the locker and the shit knocked out of me. What? Yeah, just over because um. Ah, uh, the jocks. No, it wasn't even jocks. It was rednecks. Like I got, oh my god, I, I got my life threatened over the bad religion logo. Like, you oh, you should have wore, wore a Wayland's Jenny T-shirt. There was once I wore, <laughs> I, I had a bad religion crossbuster logo, and this kid I I used to be friends with. Too bad with. Hank Three wasn't around back then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I used to get like death threats over bad religion shirts, no effects shirts, and it's just like, you know, if y'all if no if, effects was from right here in L.A. If y'all are Christians, Before they moved over there to San Francisco and they yeah. got all bougie. Bushy. Yeah, we used to play with them. I saw them. I've seen that they were the first band I saw live. Actually, technically, Off was because Off was playing before those. And uh, no, I lied. That 2015, 2016. You say Off? Yeah, Off. Keith Morris's new band. Keith Morris. Yeah. I've been. I have that. I have that. Fair. All their records on one album. You know what's kind of ironic about Keith? So, I've interviewed him. My favorite band of his is Midget Handjob. The I don't I've, know that one. I've, midget hand job is this little avant-garde kind of noisy no wave jazz thing that he did, and I didn't even know about it until I interviewed him because I, you know, I always ask. So, are there any other bands that you know you haven't? No one's asked you about. And he's like, well, "I've got midget hand job," and I was like, "Midget hand job." I looked that shit up, and 